Uh, hi, this is Dr. Vikas. I am an orthopedic surgeon. I am uh, practicing in Western suburb. Uh, I am a joint replacement surgeon. Did my graduation from Divine Patel Medical College. Then I did my post graduation in orthopedic from MGM Medical College. Uh, today here we are here to talk about the joint problems and the effect of it in aging. Uh, the joint problem is basically seen after the age of 40-45. More so ever it is seen in females more. But uh, due to our uh, uh, currently dietary habit and our sedentary lifestyle it has been seen at the earlier age which is uh, at 20-25 years of the age but uh, yes we do uh, have it is mostly on the aging problem uh, because of our diet so the most common problem is having a multiple joint pain that is uh, what we call it a rheumatoid arthritis the mainly the rheumatoid arthritis is due to uh, the decrease in our calcium level in the body there is a severe loss of calcium because of which there is a multiple joint pain uh, the other major uh, joint problem is uh, arthritis which is more so common in uh, females having a knee pain uh, due to osteoporosis and osteopenia osteoporosis is deficiency again due to a deficiency of calcium uh, the more common is obesity for it and age so regular having a diet control that is uh, having having a I uh, that is uh, having uh, less of oily fried food is the main key point to it reducing having a maintenance of the body weight and having a regular exercise uh, when it is in the early age, all these precautions are to prevent the disease. When the disease has been set in, what else we can do is, uh, what else we can do is we can have, uh, yes, and we are getting many problems. We will talk over it later. Uh, but yes, uh, the other, other problem what we are getting, uh, the most common thing is, having uh, what I was talking about the arthritis is like uh, redu uh, reducing the body weight and when the disease has been set in what max we can do is we can reduce sitting cross leg uh, we can use English combot English toilet which is very less nowadays in our Indian habit at this age also at 21st century more people more commonly people are not using uh, uh, they are going for the Indian style of uh, uh, using toilets but that is not good we should be having a western kind of thing and the other other less problem is having back pain yes th there is a, another age related problem which we see so because of the back pain the majority of our uh, lifestyle is getting affected so the other uh, reason for it is uh, again obesity uh, not having a right posture while sitting while we are working because majority of the people nowadays are having a desk job using computers though they are having a back pain upper body pain or neck pain so our habit should be like a uh, right sitting habit and our food habit now we will uh, go on to the many questions which are coming up one of the most common question which first question I see is calcanium fluster some of the pain of our uh, is having a calcaneum fracture still there is a pain yes the remedy for it I don't know if for the calcaneum fracture what treatment you have been uh, advised but yes once the calcaneum fracture uh, is there the what you can do is start using soft sole footwear there are silicone pad also come which you can put in your foot that's a uh, which will give you a cushion effect so there are also doctor's shoes, doctor's shoes are available, you can start using those doctor's shoes, that will definitely reduce the pain. 
the other thing what you can also do is icing for your uh, heel uh, at least the icing should be thrice a day and it should you should continue it for couple of months the other question is back to the tara hobby Now what is this? Back to? Back to years. Back to years. Okay, I had a injury back. Again, yes, you are having a back injury. But what kind of injury it was? Was it a fracture or not? Yeah, if it is not a fracture, then uh, yes, you can do what is uh, have use. You can use a belt for couple of weeks. Do icing. The other thing, I uh, professionally what you are, you should avoid using. uh heavy weights don't use heavy weights no never never you should not use till the pain goes off don't do any heavy work uh don't sit for long time on the if you are a desk job person don't sit on the desk for a long time at least stretch yourself walk then again come to your desk but not prolong sitting more than 2 to 3 hours uh the other what we can you can also do is reducing the body weight again i don't know what is uh, your uh, body posture but yes if you are a heavily built person start reducing start reducing it doesn't mean that you should go for gymming you should just go for a walking start with a brisk brisk walk continue it with a uh, jogging or something like that but no lifting weight nothing yes then uh, the other most common problem what we were talking these were the about the questions we were talking about the other most common problem due to aging is again cervical spondylosis pain in the cervical region cervical means in your neck region the pain is which is radiating to your uh, lower upper body lower limbs again you should not be on the desk for long time yes there is some more questions is like uh, some of the people uh, are viewers saying ki he is having a taking a pain killer for the back pain is it safe no no it is not safe taking a pain killer you are what just doing is reducing the pain but treating the pain the cause of the pain is the more important why there is a pain so uh, so you have to figure it out ki why there is a pain is it due to your uh, work habit or you are having some injury or something see some orthopedic at your uh, nearby place but taking a painkiller is not safe prolong taking a painkiller will affect your kidney so if you are a heavily built person again i would say reduce your body weight go for walk don't do heavy heavy act- activity heavy activity like lifting weights lifting bucket of water don't do that but yes get it cured why there is a reason of pain see a some doctor at your nearby place what is arthritis that is another question yes arthritis are of many types but the commonly arthritis what we see if it is is in the young person or in the old person in the young person the common arthritis is rheumatoid arthritis the rheumatoid arthritis is a blood related disease which needs to be medically treated in rheumatoid arthritis what you will get is a severe joint pain which will be more so over in the morning time but the pain will reduce as you start your activity so if this kind of a pain is there then yes it is because of uh, it is because of uh, your uh, age uh, that is because of your rheumatoid arthritis the the most common uh, rheumatoid arthritis is uh, osteoarthritis osteoarthritis is due to age related this age related osteoarthritis can develop to anybody but it is more so over in a female and this pain this is a gradual onset of the pain where the joint space between the knee joint get reduced so the two the two bones start rubbing each other and we get this kind of a pain so it is more of a degenerative disease uh, there is another question i have 
I'm going to ortho way out to for the back pain he told it's some muscle spasm I took medicine but it's still pain yes uh, so if there is a still pain it's a muscle spasm then you should avoid uh, then you should avoid using heavy weights I don't know what is your body build up again I should I think if, if, if this pain is radiating to your lower limb then yes it can be a sciatic kind of a pain what we call it a sciatica so I don't know to take your history ki why there is a pain the if the pain is only concerns to your back or it is coming to your lower limb also so again we have to evaluate that ki if the pain is coming to your lower back then it can be a disc prolapse I don't know whether it is coming to your back or uh, to your lower limb or not but get it checked to a better orthopedic I would say that so if the pain you are having a radiculopathy yes get it checked get an MRI get it sorted but yes I also want to know this back pain back spasm is for how long that would be the question I would uh, like to ask you if this back pain is for how long then we can think about there is another question which is coming I am a 43 year having hurt my back when I sit on a chair for a long hours what is it I am 45 my back pain hurts when I sit on this yes obviously I told you ki posture body posture as I discussed I just told you ki body posture should be nice while you are sitting your chair should be nice so you should be the body posture I can't show it now how it should be but it should be you should be sitting erect with your back straight you should not slouch and sit like this what I am sitting you should be erect your you should your chest should be out your back your stomach should not go in it should come out so your posture should be right I think it won't hurt but yes you can also use a small cushion at your lower back which can help you uh, yes any other questions what we are getting is how long do artificial joint last for surgery yes the artificial joint last for about 20 to 25 years depending upon what quality of joint you are using but yes what I am talking about it's a certified uh, nice imported joint what we use not a local made uh, joint local made joint doesn't have a good uh, value it, it doesn't give you long uh, life so this uh, the India the what joint we use uh, what uh, joint I use is an imported joint not an Indian made joint it lasts for a long time about 20 to 25 years minimum yes there were there is another question uh, about the crooked spine can it be cured yes it can be cured but it's extensive surgery uh, we put a particular screw uh, particular screw with grafting there is a correction can be done but again what kind of deform deformity is there and the deformity is lasting for how many long uh, what is the age of your friend he is a if it is a pediatric age pediatric age matlab less than uh, 12 years so the result of operation is significantly good because the patient comes under the growing age if the uh, he is an adult so bo bone ossification is completed so the correction would not be a hundred percent but yes it can it is curable it can be corrected through a spine surgeon who has specialized in it any more questions do we have yes we have sometimes I feel pain in the joint of my fingers also my arm Problem. yes there is one question sometimes I feel pain in the joint of my fingers and also on the right arm neck also hurts yes it is a joint related problem as I told uh, if you are a young person having a joint pain in your fingers the same thing I was talking about it can be a I am just saying it can be a rheumatoid arthritis a joint pain in your small joints like fingers the pain if the pain is more in the morning time and it 
gradually reduces as the day progresses or the pain lasts when you get up from your bed yes it's a rheumatoid arthritic kind of a pain uh, yes it's a joint related problem you have to see you have to get investigated there are two three tests rheumatoid arthritis test RA test what we say it's a blood test uh, your ESR you have to get it checked if it is a rheumatoid pain but yes it is a joint related pain and you have to get it checked by some orthopedic at your nearest place mm. there is another question most commonly question which comes to our OPD is my child drinks two glass of milk every day but still we have been prescribed calcium tablet why uh, I don't know why you visited your orthopedic for what reason but uh, he must be prescribed because he must have felt that there is a deficiency of calcium but the another thing is uh, there is a deficiency of vitamin D if there is a deficiency of vitamin D whatever calcium you are taking in your day to day diet it is not getting absorbed so get the vitamin D ka level checked uh, ask your uh, doctor to get it checked or if you don't check it just expose your son uh, expose your child to a morning sun rays go let him play in the morning uh, sunlight he will definitely get a vitamin D and whatever he takes the calcium in his regular diet will be absorbed and will be utilized by him that is the only thing and uh, you should ask your doctor why he has been prescribing and for how long he has been prescribing uh, then another question which we are getting my mother is of 56 in January 2 years ago I got fractured and not yet healed no it can't be like that there is another question ki 56 year female having a wrist injury 2 years back and he is saying it's not get been healed it does it should not happen like that uh, 56 is apparently a young female what we say it in our orthopedic wise bone quality wise he, she is very young for that having a wrist injury it should have been healed if it has not healed um, ask her to get an x-ray done to get a physiotherapy the fracture must have been united in two years the fracture will not unite at that side what you are talking about at the wrist it is not possible mm. so you should get it checked by someone it would be in heel but I think you would require a physiotherapy I think what he you are talking about she must be having a pain so get uh, some physiotherapist at your nearby place get it checked there is another thing question coming up side effect of artificial joint and what activity can person do after his surgery yes now side effect of the artificial joint is as such no side effect because of the joint yes but uh, that the lifestyle is uh, have to be modified the modification would be in terms of uh, not not I'm re repeating you should not be using a English to Indian toilet throughout your life if you have been operated for a knee joint or your hip joint both the joint you should avoid you should stop using a Indian style of combot you should be using in English combot second thing uh, is like a, whenever you walk you take a stick for walking for initial period of surgery that is for about couple of months after that you can yes you can walk freely not an issue uh, you should be watching on your weight your weight should not be increased so using a high low calories diet should be advisable not to increase your weight again the obesity will have an impact on the joints so avoid using excessive weight of your body and avoid using fat oil my grandmother fell in the bathroom and broke her hip she had to undergo surgery was that necessary yes it is required uh, at that age uh, having a fracture at the hip uh, whatever there are most common two type of fracture if there is a fracture neck or femur or intertrochanteric fracture both the fractures should 
be uh, treated with an operative management without operative management it is not possible to cure any of such kind of fracture that is the only key point because hip fractures the all it's a weight bearing joint it has to be treated operatively whatever kind of fractures i just spoke about the two main kind of a fracture there is another question when do i use ice and cold on my joint yes most common uh, problem and most commonly asked question uh, icing whenever you are having a acute kind of injury uh, acute means ki a recent injury like i if i fell down i am having a pain in my wrist i should be using icing and if it's a long lasting injury like back pain neck pain which is after like, since like more than 10 to 15 days i should be using a heat fermentation there is a reason to it when there is a recent uh, injury there is a blood clot there is a blood seepage in the joint so using a cold with stop the blood uh, clot over there and in the prolonged injury while using a heat your enhancing the circulation there is a reduced reduced circulation in those joint so by using a uh, heat you are uh, promoting the circulation over there uh should we do bone density scanning yes but why you can do it but why you want to do that is the question just just to have a check yes you can but is are you suffering from any injury yes you can do if you are having a low calcium diet not a regular diet yes you can do you will come to know about your bone density bone density means ki the level of the density of your calcium how strong your bone is if it is below then you will come into osteopenia when it is normal then nothing to worry about but it is very severe it is osteoporosis so you have to be medicated accordingly uh, for that like having a calcium vitamin d as i told there is another question i am a 50 year old female is it uh, important for me to take hormone treatment as it or what at that is uh in my practice i don't see hormonal replacement really do help mm, but yes you can do you can uh, you can go for it but yes i don't practice so i don't advise you to go for it yeah but many studies are there which shows ki yes it helps but i don't use it in my practice there are another question what is arthroscopy surgery arthroscopy surgery is uh, we have a scope which we put it in the joint Uh, mainly it is most commonly done for ligament injury uh, in the knee joint or shoulder joint the ligament in, uh, it is just making a three small 1/1 uh, cm incision in your knee joint we put a scope inside and we repair the ligaments over there the most common two ligaments the, which get injured is acl and pcl ligament and the meniscus also so yes we can uh, it is a uh, minimal in invasive surgery where we don't have to open up the joint uh, we just put it a scope inside and we can treat it so just a small 5 minute exercise for the people who sit on the chair uh 5 minute exercise just sitting on the chair is uh, your neck exercise full flexion full extension rotating your neck sideways Uh, shrugging your shoulders up the like what i am doing put it it down shrugging your shoulder hold it it for uh, five counts then leave it just stretching on yourself right left on the chair if you just want to do it sitting just stretching yourself nothing else nothing as major exercise you can do by sitting in the chair but just stretching yourself uh, there another question i drive bike for 3 to 4 hours every day nowadays i feel back pain in my lower right side yes it can be because of our roads so most common problem having uh, for the bike drivers is having a back pain so yes whenever you are driving a bike again your posture should be right and whenever you can avoid the potholes so what you can do is whenever you're going through the potholes you can uh, sorry there is some problem uh, whenever you are going through the potholes you can slow down the speed just don't bump yourself in the uh, just don't bump yourself into the potholes 
just take care. It is most commonly seen in the rickshaw, the people who travel in rickshaw again the same cause. So yes, you, that could be there. there. And because of there has been a disc prolapse also seen because of bike driver going into a pothole injuring their back. So just avoid using that. Uh, there is another question why is arthritis caused I have already dis discussed it's uh, age related and uh, the other one though yeah for the younger people uh, it is uh, the arthritis is a different kind it is a disease so it, there are many reasons to it but yes the osteoarthritis is a uh, age related it's a degenerative disease there is no cause of it just a degeneration of the body and reduced calcium level in the body why arthritis is more common in females yes because of the hormonal problem because of the hormonal changes what females have other than male the after uh, menopause that is uh, when the menses get stopped uh, there are certain hormonal changes in the body because of which uh, the osteoporosis is more common the osteoporosis is the brittleness of the bone is more common in female that is the reason uh, they get uh, rubbed off or I would say they, they get uh, arthritis more commonly in females any more questions which are coming up is uh, what is the remedy of slip disc the remedy of slip disc comes like depends so what is the degree of uh, slip disc you having if it is a initial the only thing is precaution you should be uh, taking precautions like uh, not lifting weight, reducing your weight but if it is in a severe form then getting it treated uh, by your ortho near, nearby orthopedic I think we are going out of time there are many questions which are coming which we can um, rectify through your uh, we will just whatsapp you or we will just check it and thanks for PSP take care for all this uh, session which they have organized and uh, thank you very much thank you